Welcome, my dear students. Uh, I am Ms. Shaima, your science teacher for uh, Prime 4. Today, we will talking about it system or living system. Concept one, adaptation and survival. How can uh, stay in hot weather? How we can stay in cold weather? How can we adapt in our community? Look at these pictures, okay? This girl, where, why she wear light clothes? How each of the previous little girl, lizard, palm tree adapted to survive, adapted to stay in extreme hot climate. Number one, for the animal lizard protect itself. How? How can it can protect itself from hot weather? It can protect itself by finding shaded area during hot sunny days. She looks about, looks for a cave uh, tree, rule to stay behind it to keep cool, to keep its body cool. Number two, palm tree. Palm tree are covered with waxy layer, like the screen on the mobile, to protect the protect its leaves from hot climate, to prevent water evaporation during the hot sunny days. Uh, number three, human beings. How can people protect themselves from extreme hot climate? By using umbrella, by using light clothes. Now, when we wear heavy clothes in winter, to protect ourselves from cold from extreme cold we wear a lot of clothes a lot of heavy clothes okay? so the living organisms has different ways to protect itself from extreme hot line okay uh, this is known as adaptation so adaptation means that we can characterize or we can uh, make some things to live to survive, to protect our service from a uh, hot climate uh, or uh, or cold climate. Okay? So adaptations occurs for many generations to protect themselves from uh, the weather to stay alive. Like camel has fur, has hump, has uh, narrow nostril, has broad mouth, has long eyelashes and thick eye throw or many layers of uh, lashes to protect his eyes from uh, from. from from uh, storms, from plants, okay? And uh, <clears throat> also, polar bear has thick fur to protect itself from uh, cold climate, okay? <clears throat> Look at this picture. This is polar penguin. Our penguins live in a cold climate. Penguins live in cold climate. Polar climate or <clears throat> under extreme cold climate. So, unlike most birds, penguins cannot fly, but they can stand on ice all the day. How? How pol uh, penguins can stay on the ice all the day? We said they live in Antarctica or extreme cold climate or polar climate. They stay on ice all the day. This is one of the coldest places on the earth. So it can adapt. How it can adapt? Its body can adapt. Yes, like people can wear heavy clothes. The polar bear, Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, create it with a very thin feather or big layer of feather, big layer of fat, which can keep its body warm. Penguin's body has a with, is covered with thin feather and many layers of fat. soft feathers, which can protect it from cold climate and has thick layer of fat which prevents the cold to, to be against its body okay so thick layer of fat to keep its body warm how it can stand on the ice all the day feet of penguin have no feather how it can stay on sand uh, on ice how does a penguin feed stay warm the penguin feed stay warm due to the way of moving the blood in blood vessels blood vessels like this it has blood vessels in his feet Blood vessels bring cold blood vessels up from the feet to belly, which is covered with feather, which is warm. Other blood vessels bring warm blood vessels down to the, the feet. So when the cold blood vessels meet, the warm blood vessels they weaved around each other. They weaved around each other. So the warm blood vessels heat up the cold blood vessels. So he can feel heat. The warm, the warmth can transfer to the penguin feet, so, so he can stay on the ice all the day. Okay, clear. Activity three: adaptation and survival. Some animals, like polar bear, has to adapt to live in polar climate. So he lives in Arctic regions. How he can stay? He wear a jacket? No. How he stay there? He adapt to live there because he has white thick fur white thick fur it's white thick fur help it 
blend in. What's the meaning of blend in? Blend in looks like camouflage. He, he helps it to camouflage or blend in and with the snow. So it can sneak up on its prey. He surprised his prey. Okay, its thick fur helps it to stay warm in cold Arctic regions. So how polar pair adapt and survive adapt and survive in polar regions. We said, number one, it has white fur, thick white fur, helps it to blend in. Blending means camouflage, to not be seen easily and with the snow and sneak up to its prey, surprise prey. Number two, it has thick fur. Thick fur helps it to stay warm in cold Arctic region. Okay, while brown fur and dark fur can't live in polar region. They live in forest, so they have dark fur. Why? To adapt in this forest, to hide among the trees. When they hunt, they want to hunt to eat, so when they was white clearly to see so they have dark fur brown or dark fur to hide among the trees when they hunt number three caracal and phoenix fox caracal is like cats phoenix fox is a fox live in desert habitat they live in desert how can they adapt they have sandy color like the desert to blend in to hide from their prey to sneak up on its prey without anybody or any animal can observe this. So adaptation, they have sandy colored fur to help them blend in with the desert landscape. It's clear. So we have penguin has thick Danish feather to keep its body warm when it stay all the day in the on the sand. Uh, number two, the, we have polar pear, which live in Arctic region. It has what, thick white fur, white fur to blend in the snow, to not be easy to see, to catch its prey by surprise. It we has a brown pear and dark pear. They have dark fur to hide among the trees, to surprise its prey also. Uh, Phoenix fox and caracal live in desert. They have sandy colored fur to blend in the desert landscape, which, which, which has sand, sand, sand colored with yellow, so they can surprise the <coughs> its place, braves. Some desert lizards, lizards live in desert. Habitat lives in desert. Adaptation, they has colorful scales, scales like the scales in the fish, that makes them hide among the, color, the rook, colorful rooks in the desert, so it can hide easily among the roots. So desert lizard has colorful scales that make the lizard hide easily among the colorful roots in the desert. Some animals adapt in many ways to hide from their predator or their prey to be a way of adaptation called camouflage. What mean of camouflage? Camouflage that's a way or a type of adaptation that some animals use to hide from their predators, hide from their predators or their prey by blending in with the surrounding environment. Predator means what? Predator is the animal that is hunted and eaten by another animal, like a lion, like a tiger, like a fox. What prey it is an animal that is hunted and eaten by another animal. Oh, so the predator hunt the prey, prey such as rabbit, uh, mice, uh, deer. So the predator like a lion can hunt prey like deer, like zebra, like rabbit and eat it. So camouflage a type of adaptation that some animal use like lion to hide among the grass. Uh, to catch its prey like a deer easily without the deer can notice that okay so we can check our understanding for the day this is the exercise on lesson one choose the correct answer penguin live in poor polar climate which is yes the one it is the one of the coldest places on earth and penguin feed not the space weave around each other in penguin feed spaces weave around each other warm blood vessels 
and cold blood vessels weave around each other. Why? To keep the feet of penguin warm. Penguins feet have no blood vessels. Have no blood vessels. Have blood vessels, sorry. That bring cold space up from its feet towards its body. Penguins feet have blood vessels that bring cold blood vessels up. So cold blood vessels bring up to the body and warm blood vessels bring down to the feet and weave around each other to keep the a to keep the penguins feet warm all the day so here penguins feet have blood vessels that bring cold blood up from a its feet towards its body okay number four Peers, peers live in forests have fair space that of polar. Peers live in forests. We said a what has dark and brown fur. Okay, polar peer has white fur. So here we said peers live in forests have darker, darker than that of polar pear. Okay, they say darker. Yes, camouflage means that. What's the meaning of camouflage? Camouflage. As we said, it's hard, yes, to be seen among its third surroundings. Okay, it's hard to be seen among its surroundings. Okay, Phoenix Fox and Caracal have face that help them blend in with desert landscape. Phoenix Fox and Caracal have sandy colored fur. Oh, it's Phoenix Fox and the Caracal have sandy colored fur that help them blend in with desert landscape. The percent of a thick white fur in, is an adaptation in, yes, polar pear. So polar pear has thick white fur to keep its body warm. Complete the following sentences. Number one, pears have space or space colored fur. Yes, brown or dark colored fur, while polar pear have white colored fur. Number two, in desert environment, space and, sp and the space are covered with sandy colored fur. In desert environment, caracal and phoenix fox are covered with sandy colored fur. Number three, among animals that have that can live in polar environment are among animals that can live in polar environment are yes polar pear and penguin okay we have finished for today <clears throat> with my best wishes miss ashina aziz we have finished here we can complete the second lesson in the uh, next session inshallah